What do you think the kids are up to? I'm not sure, but they sure are excited. They said to be in the living room at three o'clock. <laughs> It's almost time. Five more seconds. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and enjoy our presentation of a famous old story. The tortoise. Hello. And the hare. Hello. Ready, Ollie? Ready. Ready, Holly? Ready. Ready, Dewey? Ready. Let's go. One day. But I think I'm more steady than you. Who needs to be steady? Hare said with a giggle, and his whiskers did twitch, and his cotton tail wiggled. The hare and the tortoise stood face to face. Let's settle the question by running a race. You've got to be kidding! Straight through. Mama, look, it's a giant vine. Jack jumped on the stalk. 
cozy or warm or merry, this castle is dark and cold and scary. No, no, no. Just then, from the end of the big, big room, came a huge, huge voice. It began to boom. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell a boy, by gosh, by gum. to me. No, I'm not. I'm just resting my eyes. Well, all right then. How about this one, Dewey? Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, please. Little Red Riding Hood phoned her granny, phoned her granny, phoned her granny. Granny said, I don't feel well. Would you please come today? Little Red went right away, right away, right away. Down the forest path she went, but then she met a wolf. Little girl, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? I'm sorry, wolf. I cannot stop. I'm gonna go see my granny. Little Red Riding Hood ran away, ran away, ran away. But that wolf knew a shorter way to get to Granny's faster. The wolf put Granny under the bed, under the bed, under the bed. Don't say a word! That bad wolf said, and he put on Granny's nightie. Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door, on the door, on the door. Can I come in, Granny? Come in, my dear, but don't forget that basket. My, what great big ears you have. Ears you have, ears you have. Granny, what great big ears you have. The well, better to hear you with, he said. My, what great big eyes you have! Eyes you have, eyes you have! Granny, what great big eyes you have! The better to see you with, he said. My, what great big teeth you have! Teeth you have, teeth you have! Granny, what great big teeth you have! The better to eat you with, he said. He jumped and she jumped back, she jumped back, she jumped back. Up he jumped and she jumped back and hid behind the table. Then out popped Granny and she was mad, she was mad, she was 
mad. She chased him with a broom she had. She chased him around the room. Out you go, wolf! Shoo shoo shoo, shoo shoo shoo, shoo shoo shoo. Out you go, wolf! Shoo shoo shoo, and don't you ever come back. Feel much better, Granny said. Granny said. Granny said. I feel much better. So do I. And now let's have a picnic. The wolf was never seen again. Seen again. Seen again. And that is how the story ends. Now go to sleep, my Dewey. Ah, good night, Dewey. On a mountain, live together, together, together. On a mountain, live together. Three Billy goats, gruff. Billy the little, and Billy the middle, and Billy the biggest. Three Billy goats, gruff. By the mountain was a river, a river, a river. By the mountain was a river which they wanted to cross. Who wants to go first? I want to go first. Can I go first? So little Billy goes gruff. Yay! He trotted to the river, the river, the river. He trotted to the river and he jumped on the bridge. Clippity, hoppity, hippity, hoppity. But then he was stopped by a big bad troll. Clippity clopping and hippity hopping. Who's clip clopping all over my bridge? I'm Billy the Little Goat Crap. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for the Little Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll. I'm just Billy the Little Goat Gruff. Why don't you wait for my older brother? He's much bigger and tastier than I am, and fatter too. Yum. Be off with you and hurry up. I'll wait for Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Billy the Middle, the Middle, the Middle went down to the river and he jumped on the bridge. Clippity, cloppity, hippity, hoppity. But then he was stopped by a big bad troll. Who's clippity clopping and hippity? Hopping, who's clip clopping all over my bridge? Uh, I'm Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for the Middle Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll. I'm just Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Why don't you wait for my older brother? He's much bigger and tastier than I am, and fatter too. Yum! Be off with you and hurry up. I'll wait for Billy the Biggest Goat Gruff. Billy the Biggest, the Biggest, the Biggest went down to the river and he jumped on the bridge. Clippity, cloppity, hippity, hoppity. But then he was stopped by a big bad troll. Who's clippity, clopping, and hippity? Hopping, who's clip clopping all over my bridge? I'm Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for the biggest goat gruff? I don't think so, Mr. Troll. Billy the Biggest backed up, backed up. He put his head. Sent the troll sailing, flapping, and flailing. The troll he went sailing right over the moon. Happily ever after, 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 happily ever after lived the Billy Goat's gruff. Billy the little, and Billy the middle, and Billy the biggest. Three Billy Goat's gruff. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Help! Don't worry, Dewey. Here I come. Haha, -ha, I was just joking. I'm okay, Ollie. Hmm. Help! Don't worry, Dewey. I'll save you. Haha, -ha, fooled you. Hmm. Dewey, come over here and I'll tell you a little story. It's about a little shepherd boy named Bob. And he was just about your age, Dewey. There was a little boy who watched the sheep. Uh huh. There was a little boy who watched the sheep. Uh huh. The little boy. My name is Bob. Guarding the flock was his job so the wolf wouldn't rob the farmer's sheep. Uh huh. He thought it would be fun to play a trick. Ha ha! He thought it would be fun to play a trick. Ha ha! He thought it would be fun to fool everyone and make the farmer run just for a trick. Ha ha! He shouted down the hill. There's a wolf, come quick! He shouted down the hill. There's a wolf, come quick! But when the farmer came, he could see it was a no wolf. No wolf. Little boy, don't you play that trick again. Yes, sir. Little boy, don't you play that trick again. Yes, sir. Because if you tell a lie, I won't believe you by and by. So never cry wolf again. No, sir. But later on, the boy did it again. Wolf, wolf. Later on, the boy did it again. Wolf, wolf. But when the farm the same. It was very plain there was no wolf. No wolf. Little boy, don't you play that trick again. Yes, sir. Little boy, don't you play that trick again. Yes, sir. It's not very nice to have to tell you twice. So never, never cry wolf again. No, sir. But then the real wolf came along Oh no! But then a real wolf came along Oh no! The wolf began to creep in among the little sheep And the boy began to weep It's a wolf! Oh no! He shouted down the hill There's a wolf! Come quick! He shouted down the hill There's a wolf! Come quick! But the farmer never came because he thought it was a game And that sure was a shame But it's a wolf! The wolf took all the farmer sheep away. Bye bye. The wolf took all the farmer sheep away. Bye bye. Every lamb and every ewe, there was nothing Bob could do. The wolf took all the farmer sheep away. Toodaloo. I'm sorry, Mr. Farmer, I was wrong. Good boy. I'm sorry, Mr. Farmer, I was wrong. Good boy. Run faster than you. Faster than anyone or anything. Oh, really? Well, then I'd like to challenge you to a race. A race? Indeed. <laughs> what fun. Once upon a time, a tortoise and a hare decided on a race just for a dare. The hare was very sure he would win hands down, but the tortoise Archibald thought That won't get me down! Hedrick the hare was speedy, and Archibald was slow. He almost missed his cue when they said ready, set, go! Slow and steady wins the race, be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. The hare raced like a bullet at the speed of light While the tortoise took his time, he had a goal in sight Hedgewick knew he'd win, so he stopped to take a nap 
As Archibald was nowhere close to catching up in laps. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. So the hare fell asleep under a shady tree And Archie heard him snore as he passed him on mile three When Archie crossed the finish line, everyone said Hooray! Hedgewig heard the noise Well, well, you don't say Slow and steady wins the race Be like Archie Ball He wasn't very snappy But always gave his all a gold medal for Archie Ball. He cheated! Hedgewig cried. He won fair and square with a slow and steady stride. Hedgewig now was sad he didn't win the race. But Archie tried to cheer him. Put on a happy face. It's just a silly contest, not worth a silly fight. Friendship's what's important. And with that, they made things right. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archie Ball. That sleepy tortoise finished first. And he didn't run, he crawled. Once upon a time there were three brown bears and they lived in the deep dark woods. One fine day as the porridge cooled, they walked around the neighborhood. The porridge was too hot! Down the path through the deep dark woods, a little girl skipped along. Goldilocks was the little girl's name and she didn't know right from wrong. Hello? Anyone home? In the kitchen she saw three bowls On the kitchen table She grabbed a chair and climbed right up As fast as she was able Yummy! Porridge! She took a taste from Papa's bowl Yuck! It's much too hot! She took a taste from Mama's bowl Yuck! It's much too cold! She took a taste from baby's bowl This one tastes just right And she ate with a spoon And very, very soon She swallowed every bite Look at those comfy rocking chairs She sat down on Papa Bear's chair This is much too hard She sat down on Mama Bear's chair This is much too soft She sat down on Baby Bear's chair Feels just right. And she rocked and she rocked till the chair fell apart. She had quite a fright. Ouch! Ooh, look at those comfy beds. She laid down on Papa Bear's bed. This is much too hard. She laid down on Mama Bear's bed. This is much too soft. She laid down on Baby Bear's bed. This one feels just right. She pulled back the covers and snuggled in And then turned off the light Good night! Someone's been eating from my bowl Said Big Papa Bear Someone's been eating from my bowl Said Big Mama Bear Someone's been eating from my bowl And there's nothing left for me A Baby Bear was very Someone's been sitting in my chair Said Big Papa Bear Someone's been sitting in my chair Said Big Mama Bear Someone's been sitting in my chair And broke it all apart And Baby Bear began to cry With all his little heart Someone's been sleeping in my bag. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And she is still there. And Goldilocks woke up to see three very angry bears. Not 
not so fast. Say, Papa Bear. We'd better have a talk. I'm very, very sorry, said little Goldilocks. Goldilocks and Baby Bear became the best of friends. And that, my little Dewey, is how the story ends. My, I asked Huggy and Buggy to tidy their room before going out to play. <laughs> Those kids. Do you know where they are? I think I saw them in the backyard. I'll go find them, Jen. Wow, it's so cool to look at all the little insects. Yeah, the ants are my favorite. My favorite is the grasshopper. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. And I think this might be a good time to tell it to you. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. The grasshoppers do cartwheels. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshoppers dance for fun. And, and all they do is play while the ants work all day. Grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! They never helped. They wished they had. And now they feel really bad. All they did was play while the ants worked all day. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho, hi ho. The grasshopper said with a grin, We'll never shirk our work again. And the ants all shout, Hooray! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping lion. Angrily, he grabbed that mouse. She was scared and crying. She said, If you let me go, I'll help you someday. Soon you'll see. When you need me, I'll be there. You'll count on me. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Tiny thing, what can you do for me? Tell 
tell you what, <laughs> you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you. Next day, lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap. He was captured and. Because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all.
read us a story, Mom? Yeah, read us a story. Okay, you two. Snuggle in and close your eyes, and I'll read you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yay! Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She was going to Granny's far away. the deep dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. A big bad wolf came into view. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He raised his hat and said, How do you do? Uh-huh, uh-huh. She said, My Granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. Uh-huh. She walked away, but the big bad wolf knew a faster way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The big bad wolf came to Granny's house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And poor old Granny was all alone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Granny, get in the cupboard. That bad wolf said, then he put on her clothes and jumped in. Here, come over here. But the little girl knew something was weird. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Granny, what great big ears you have! Uh huh. Uh huh. Granny, what great big eyes you have! Uh huh. Uh huh. Granny, what great big teeth you have! The wolf said, "Better to eat you with." He never came back. Uh-huh. 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 We're safe now, Granny! The little girl said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And she helped Granny get back in bed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They ate the cookies happily. And that's the end of our story. says tortoise huggy. What's a tortoise? A tortoise is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story the turtle and the rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? <laughs> All right then. One day, the hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise, and she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast. But the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad the day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow. You can't beat me. I can't. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. Stuck in glue The day of the big, big race The hare, she laughed Ho, ho, ho That old tortoise is slow, slow, slow I can't be beaten No, no, no The day of the big, big race Poor old tortoise, sure enough Moved so slow and huffed and puffed He was tired, but 
he was tough the day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead. I think I'll take a nap. She said in a carrot patch she made a bed the day of the big, big race. Snore the day of the big, big race. So old tortoise trudged along, whistling a happy song. He was slow, but he was strong. The day of the big, big race. I won't give up. No, no, no. His confidence began to grow. Come on, legs, let's go, go, go. The day of the big, big race. Even when the hill was steep, still he climbed and still he creeped, and still the hare was fast asleep. The day of the big, big race. Finally, he passed the hare, fast asleep and unaware. The finish line, I'm almost there. The day of the big, big Began to cheer and cheer as slowly toward as he drew near. The hare awoke and said, Oh dear, the day of the big, big race. The hare began to run and run. Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Hooray! The slow old tortoise won the day of the big, big race. The lesson here is plain to see Whether slow or fast you be If you work hard, you will succeed The day of the big, big race The day of the big, big race with you. I'll wait for Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Billy the Middle ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity hippity hoppity up jumped the troll and he hollered out Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered and stop. Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll, I'm not very big, and you look very hungry. Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff is coming next, and he's much bigger and tastier than I am. Well, all right then. Be off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Billy the Biggie ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. 
hippity, hoppity, hippity, hoppity. Up jumped to the troll and he hollered out. Stop! Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Piggy Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, yeah? Billy the Piggy, he lowered his horns and charged straight at the troll. And end over end over hill over glen and over the mountain that bad troll flew. Over the Billy the Piggy. The Billy Goat's Gruff. And Billy the Piggy, the Billy Goat's Gruff. Once there lived three grizzly bears in a house in the forest. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Baby Bear Sat down to eat their porridge Ooh, much too hot Growl, Papa Bear, let's go Walk in the forest That's when Goldilocks came by Found their house in the thicket Knock, 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 no answer So Goldie entered the kitchen Mmm, smells good She grabbed a spoon she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge, way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge, way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge, just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room, she spied chairs of three different sizes. They looked quite inviting, so Goldie thought she'd try them. Papa Bear's chair, way too hard. Mama Bear's chair, way too soft. Baby Bear's chair, just right, just right, just right. Just as Goldie settled in that chair, broke into pieces. Goldie went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed, way too hard. Mama Bear's bed, way too soft. Baby Bear's bed, just right. Someone's been eating my porridge Growled Papa Someone's been eating my porridge Said Mama Someone's been eating my porridge Cried Baby And they ate it all up, ate it all up They walked into the living room And what do you think they noticed? Someone's been sitting in my chair Growled Papa Someone's been sitting in my chair Said Mama Someone's been sitting in my chair Cried Baby And they broke in it Upstairs in their bedroom now What do you think they noticed? Someone's been sleeping in my bed Growled Papa Someone's been sleeping in my bed Said Mama Someone's been sleeping in my bed Cried Baby And there she is, there she is Goldilocks woke up and saw Three brown bears staring at her She screamed, hey! Jumped out of bed and ran away with the clatter Down the stairs and through the door Goldie's gone forevermore Our three bears, they scratched their heads Fixed the chair and made the beds And sat down to eat their porridge And that is the story of the three bears Yeah!